Did you know that one man's vision built a nation's future? In the late 19th century, a young engineer named John Roebling had a dream. He envisioned a bridge that would connect two bustling cities, New York and Brooklyn. But his dream was met with skepticism. A bridge of this size could never hold up, critics said. Roebling, however, was undeterred. He faced numerous challenges, securing funding, dealing with political opposition, and overcoming engineering doubts. His plans included the largest suspension bridge ever attempted using innovative wire cables. Yet tragedy struck. While surveying the site, Roebling was injured and later died from tetanus. His son, Washington Roebling, took over, but soon after, he too became incapacitated by decompression sickness. Washington's wife, Emily Warren Roebling, stepped in. With no formal engineering training, she managed the project, communicating her husband's instructions to the workers. For 11 years, Emily oversaw the construction, becoming the first woman to manage a major civil engineering project in America. She navigated through legal battles, labor disputes, and public scrutiny, all while ensuring the bridge's design integrity. The Brooklyn Bridge, completed in 1883, not only connected two cities, but also symbolized the triumph of human spirit over adversity. Emily's role, often overlooked, was pivotal. She proved that determination and adaptability could overcome even the most daunting obstacles. Today, the bridge stands as a testament to the Roebling family's vision and Emily's leadership. Next time you cross the Brooklyn Bridge, remember the engineer, his son, and the woman who made it possible. Her story reminds us that behind every great feat, there's often an unsung hero.